And do you know what a real tragedy is? It's not the grand scale apocalypse we all think of. So personally, I think that'd be pretty cool. But a real tragedy is the kind that we face every single day. Get your best popcorn. Get it yourself? I thought you were always ready to help in a time of need. And I thought you said I'd always just mess it up. <laughs> Oops, looks like I did it again. Elizabeth! Shh. Ah, yes. The movie theater. <laughs> you know, I never really understood why people think the movie theater is a fun place to hang out. What's so pleasant about the smell of butter so intense you could literally eat it out of the air? It's beyond me. Anyways, as you can tell, there's nothing uh, pleasant about the two individuals you see in front of you. Looks like the movie's starting. Yeah, idiot. I have eyes and no. <laughs> so, uh, to say there are some issues here would be an understatement. But it's fine. I hope. I haven't seen you laugh like that in a while. <laughs> yeah, because being with you usually sucks, so... <laughs> don't be surprised if a movie can make me laugh when you can't. <laughs> Elizabeth, I don't understand why you're so upset. If you don't know, then I can't help you. We have to talk about this. We were best friends once. I just wanted to be like that again. <laughs> yeah, the three of us. He's not... It's not going to be the same, and you damn well know it. Wow. I see. <laughs> you love some good tea. Uh, I watched the movie when these two friends are making a much better scene on their own. Mm -hmm. They weren't always like this, you know? They used to be inseparable. Spent every waking moment with each other. That's why I wanted to hang out today. You know, I don't even know why I came. This was a thing for the three of us. Every day of summer break for how long? It's not going to be the same. When he died, all the traditions should have died with him too. I know it can't be the same, but I still wanted to try to fix things between us. Uh, now you want to fix things? Where was this three months ago? Can you stop being so passive aggressive? I can drop the passes if you want me to. Shh. I can tell you this much. Elizabeth has always been a sir. Always the first one to act. Great as it is, she's a bit impulsive at times. Alex, on the other hand, has always been the more reflective and logical voice. But at times, he ends up overthinking. You would assume they'd have established some sort of balance by now, but, uh, well, it clashes. Elizabeth, you know there was nothing we could have done, right? <laughs> That's where you're wrong. We could have done something, the two of us, but you decided it was better to sit idly by and do nothing. I had to get involved by myself, and clearly that wasn't enough. If you had just done something- Elizabeth, it was a situation that required tact and delicacy. You acted ignorantly and abrasively. I forgave you months ago, but I know that if I would have gotten involved, it would have only gotten worse. So you're telling me it's my fault again? Damn it, Alex, I know I messed up, but at least I tried, at least I cared. I cared for him too, he was like a brother to me. Shh. <laughs> then you let your brother die. Wait, Alex, I... No. Listen, there isn't a moment I don't regret my inaction. There isn't a second I... I didn't wish I could have done something. But I, I, I couldn't. I, I didn't. And I hate myself for it. You hate me for it, and he probably hates me too. You're both idiots. <laughs> I hope you know that. Neither of you are at fault. Why don't you understand that? It was not either of your faults, it was mine. I did this to myself. I cut myself off from the world. I cut myself off from you guys, and for what? I thought that maybe it would have ended all of the suffering. But now, I see that it did nothing but 
take the pain that I felt for so long and gave it to the people that I love the most. Alex, I'm sorry. No, you're not. And I am not either. Neither of us are going to change our stances, and nothing is going to change. But we have options. What do you mean? Hey, look, you're right, I'm angry, but I can't lose you too. Losing him was already more than I could handle. So? So, either we refuse to accept our situation, or we move on. Now you're the optimist? Things can't be the same. Accept it. Acknowledge it. Come to terms with it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, what do you think you're doing? Uh, sitting down. I'm sorry, sir, that seat is taken. But it's been open the whole time. <laughs> Bruh, I don't know who you think you are and what you think you're doing, but that seat is taken. Are you deaf or something? Because last time I checked, this is an asylum film. You need to get out of there right now. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> You've been talking this entire movie and we all paid to be here. God. Babe, let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, babe, us two. Come on. <laughs> Um, maybe we will be okay? Maybe. But I'm still kind of mad he spilled popcorn all over me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You guys will be fine. Hey, Alex? Yeah? I miss him. I miss him too. <laughs>